have any questions? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it's kind of two in one. <laughs> Um, say, uh, the site fits my, my, uh, all the aspects of my business plan, the location, it's captive, um, but it's a little more than I budgeted, you know, I put in my budget, um, at the time. How much should I expect to pay for a site, um, and is it a big factor in my success rate if I um, expand my budget on my spot, my site. Those are good questions. First of all, markets across the country and around the world, you're going to end up having to pay fair market value. Mm -hmm. And the fair market value in Des Moines, Iowa, and the fair market value in San Francisco, California, for the exact same type of site, two different things. Well, so see, that's where you can use commercial real estate people, because those folks should know the market value. They should know what the market will bear. They should know what the, what the landlord, uh, whether it be dirt or building, what that person is willing to take for the property. Um, and they should be able to give you that information. So I can't give you a hard and fast number, but it, it, it's going to come down to you're going to have to pay fair market value. Okay, how important is it to go outside of your budget? Well, most of the time when you're creating a budget, you don't initially know what the number should be anyway. I, I see that a lot with budgeting, especially when it comes to site selection. They're afraid to put a number. And what I tell people is, listen, just put the number, and then we'll make tweaks and adjustments until we get to a point where we can figure out if that number was accurate or where the differences are. So you're going to see the up and down um, change of your budget as you move one number from one line to the next. So that's all normal. Um, but I'll tell you, overspending on a site is a killer because you're stuck with it. See, if you're outside a budget, or outside of industry trend when it comes to food cost or labor cost or sales volumes, we can fix that. But if you paid too much for a site, whether it be the dirt or whether it be the entire building or the build out of a building, if you pay too much for that, there's nothing we can do about it. it it's, it's a killer. And more often than not, that's the killer that can never be made up for. Nothing you can do about it. So with that said, I would proceed with caution when it comes to the expenditure. Okay. Okay. Um, I'd ask a lot of questions. I'd try to do a lot of negotiation. I'd try to, try to talk to other people to find out what they're paying and what you should be paying. But ultimately, it comes down to your menu has to be able to afford the site. Mm -hmm. If your menu can't afford the site, you can't afford the site. That's when I say go look in a different pond. Sites are available. We, we get that a lot too. Oh, I'm in XYZ City. There are almost no sites available. Okay, well, I know XYZ City, and right next to XYZ City is ABC City, and then there's DFG City, and then there's HIJ City. And all of those cities have sites available, and they're 15 minutes from XYZ. So just look at a different pond. I'd rather make money. <laughs>